This is a review of a very short work of anime. It was an interstitial made for a Japanese television station, and it also happens to be the last piece of anime work done by legendary anime director Satoshi Kon. I think the easiest way to parse this is to just go through it shot by shot. We start with several images of happy birthday notes and cards and presents. Apparently the main character has just had a birthday party. We then cut to our protagonist, a young woman, who is already awake in her apartment as her alarm goes off, and I think that's a significant hint as to what's about to happen. She wakes up and turns off her cell phone alarm, but there's actually two of her. There's an image of her, but then another image of her on the bed. And now we begin to see the premise and where we're going with this, that it's about how we feel when we're waking up. Note all of the posters on the walls, by the way. This is one of those things that would be very hard for anyone outside of Japan to know unless you run to the internet. These appear to all be posters for bands and their gigs. So this is clearly somebody who's into going out on the town. Also note that her apartment's kind of a mess. Now, a lot of that appears to be detritus from the party the night before, but it's also pretty cramped. There's a lot of little notes on the, um, the fridge and things along those lines. And that's a hint into our character as well, that she is not somebody who leaps out of bed in the morning and just goes and charges into things. She's a bit disorganized, and it takes her a while to, uh, to get things together. Also note that her very first action is to go to the fridge and get a drink, uh, drink something like orange juice or milk, which is a hint that maybe she's dehydrated from drinking some alcohol the night before. So we're only a few seconds into this, and we already know quite a lot about our protagonist. We know she likes to go out of the town, she had a party the night before, she probably drank a little bit too much, and she was kind of zoned out when the alarm went off, but now she's kind of starting to wake up. There's also some fun characterization of her sitting down and watching the news and being still kind of zoned out. I love the animation and the art here, in terms of getting across the fact that she's definitely not bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Then the other her begins to wake up and go about her day, and now again we see this premise that she's waking up, but it takes a while for our mind to sort of catch up to our bodies. And then he throws a curveball. The second her, the one that's delayed, has her drink from the fridge and opens the bathroom door, which has been closed up to this point. How did the first her get her toothbrush. And this throws what we're seeing kind of into question. Is the first her, her dream self imagining what it's going to be like to wake up? Because clearly she didn't actually go in and do that, but also she turned on the TV, right? Which one is the real her? And then as she takes her shower, the different versions of her begin to synchronize. Note here the music how it is this wonderful repeated trill which perfectly references the themes of this short film, this idea of repetition, of the fact that you're not quite synchronized with yourself. And then she finally synchronizes at the sink after her shower, and we all have that feeling that after your shower you kind of feel alive. And then she looks at herself in the mirror and she says, hello. And then I get teary because here is Satoshi Kon saying hello to us just before he passes away. Literally the last thing he says to us is hello. What a wonderfully poignant final image for him, for us. Um, it's just perfectly poignant. And um, uh, it's one of the amazing things about art, that the context of art can make something more powerful than the piece is in and of itself. We're all connected. Everything has connections to other things. And that particular bit of information that, that Satoshi Kon passed away not long after completing this just really enriches the experience while also not taking away from the fact that this is a brilliant little bit of, of, of cinema, of this neat concept being represented in animation 
in a way that is perfect for the medium. I'm just very impressed by, by this piece of work. I think there's quite a bit there, and I'm probably not seeing it all. So that is Ohio, or Good Morning, by Satoshi Kone. You can find it online, and um, I hope you find it as interesting as I did.